Steel is found everywhere in life. It's in our cities, our cars, our homes. Making steel. The process of converting iron ore into iron and iron into steel uses a lot of energy. Because of this, and the fact it's used in so many things, steel making is responsible for around 8% of all global emissions. Most of these emissions are created during the industrial process, transforming iron ore, the raw material, into metal. By decarbonising the way steel is made, we could make a significant contribution to reducing global emissions. It's a global challenge and we want to play a part. We have formed partnerships with customers to research new technologies and processes. And our engineers are also working on solutions too. Their latest research includes a promising new technology for our Pilbara iron ore. Here's how it works. Iron ore is a mixture of iron and oxygen and other minerals like clay. To make iron, the oxygen and impurities need to be removed from the ore. Traditionally, this is done by creating a reaction at a very high temperature using oxygen from the air and fossil fuels such as coking coal. At these temperatures, the iron ore releases its oxygen which joins with carbon from the coke creating carbon dioxide which is released into the atmosphere. In the new process we're researching, iron ore finds are mixed with sustainable raw biomass material like agricultural waste, such as wheat straw, corn stover and sugarcane bagasse, purpose-grown energy crops, seaweed and even algae. These materials are compressed to create a pillow or briquette about the size of a golf ball. The briquettes are heated to around 600 degrees Celsius by combusting some gases released by the biomass. The briquettes are then heated using microwaves. The remaining carbon in the briquettes triggers a chemical reaction and the oxygen is stripped from the iron ore, converting it to metallic iron. The metal briquettes are moved to an electric furnace where they are melted to form a liquid slag, allowing the metal to be separated from impurities to create iron. To make steel, the iron is further refined and other metals like manganese or nickel can be added to create different grades for different uses. This new process produces no fossil fuel emissions and renewable energy can also be used to power the microwaves. While the biomass will release carbon dioxide when used, this is offset by using fast-growing plants as the biomass source. This is because about the same amount of carbon dioxide is absorbed in photosynthesis when the plants are regrown. So biomass offers a carbon neutral energy source. In addition, the gases created can be captured and recycled to create process heat and generate power. But for it to be a truly sustainable solution, we know from talking to environmental groups that we need to carefully consider the kind of biomass we use and how it's produced and transported. That's an important part of our research too. What we do know is that this process cannot use food such as sugar or corn, and we would not use biomass sources that would support logging of native forests because we don't want to solve one problem and cause another. It's still early days and we have more work to do to prove it can work. But if we're successful, this technology could play an important part in reducing carbon emissions across the steel industry. It's one of the steps we're taking to reduce emissions, not just across our own operations, but to help our customers reduce theirs too. Because it will take all of us working together to tackle climate change.